Do you ever ask your question, how do I clean my Blackstone griddle? I get a lot of questions about that. And today I'm gonna to show you how I clean my Blackstone griddle. So let's go. That's some good groceries. Yesterday I cooked on this thing and I didn't clean it. I actually didn't have time. Then I forgot, got busy. So this morning I am going to clean this griddle, have it really shiny for the next time. First course of action is get your griddle up to temperature and get it pre-worn because how we're gonna clean this requires the griddle to be on. All right, so our griddle, it is warmed up and it is ready. Really, it's not that big of a deal for cleaning this thing. You just use a little bit of water and that's about it. So we're just gonna come in with a little bit of water. You don't wanna put a whole lot on here, just enough to try to help bring a lot of this stuff that's kind of caked on. Then you're gonna take your scraper of choice. I really like this scraper that comes with the kits. So I like to come in in the corners and just kind of, some of these spots is just kind of hard. It's got some stuff stuck to it. And as you can see, it just lifts off with the water. And then as it pulls up, I just kind of push it back towards the rear grease management. My next step in cleaning is I like to take a paper towel. So I like to take my paper towels and I like to fold them up and then take your scraper. I'm just gonna come in and do a little wiping action here. That just helps get any other kind of stuff. Come in and get your rear grease, flip it over. Has a little black, means it's getting something. Come in with a little bit more water, finish it on this side. Don't forget the backs and your sides. This is kind of important here. After you've applied water, after you've done your scraping, after you did your paper towel trick, you wanna make sure it's dry, okay? You just wanna get the top dry. Just keep the blackstone on, I don't know, a couple minutes. That way it just kinda of dissipates any kind of water that's there. Now that your griddle top's nice and dry, we're gonna take a little bit of cooking oil. This happens to be my avocado and olive oil blend. What I like to do now is take a couple pieces of your paper towels, fold them up, use your scraper again, and then just wipe real gently. Just apply a nice little thin coat of oil. And this right here will help protect it for your next cook. There you have it. Nice clean griddle for the next time you cook for your family, friends, or whatever. Pretty dang simple, right? Hey, I appreciate you watching. Hey, head on over to the Blackstone Network where you see a lot of other awesome videos just like this. Hey, I'm Matt Hussey and that's some good groceries.